ESCOM is in a state of severe financial difficulty. Our media results will confirm again what many of us have suspected for some time. ESCOM, as it is conceived and operating today, is not sustainable. If we do nothing and just sit tight, it's not going to be long before we talk of ESCOM in historic terms. We are locked in, in a, into a permanent loss-making position in that our revenue growth is structurally constrained. Our operating expenditure has ballooned due to internal inefficiencies and debt load and the debt load that is impossibly high. Coupled with that, we've not been able uh, even though in theory NASA should be giving us uh, tariffs that uh, are reflective of our cost and a little bit of margin, we've not been able to do that. So the consequence is between the cost that we have to incur to generate electricity and the price that society can afford, there's a delta that lies there that has had to be subsidized by the ESCOM balance sheet. This is indeed an extremely perilous position, which is a function of our own internal inefficiencies and exacerbated by some external factors. We therefore need to take bold steps as of today to save ESCOM and return it to financial sustainability. In this regard, we have prepared a far-reaching, possibly ambitious, but decisive new strategic turnaround plan to respond to this crisis and are in the process of engaging with the various stakeholders within government and labor to get alignment. While we are engaging in that process, let me share broadly some elements of that plan. Our plan essentially stands on three pillars. On the first part, having acknowledged that our problems are first and foremost internal, and there are some external factors. Our costs is one thing that business management can and should have something to do about costs. So we need to do something to curtail our costs. We need to do something to compress our costs and uh, our costs are in people, are in primary energy, are in debt servicing. To achieve cost impression, compression and cost containment, we require transparency and accountability as key catalysts. In order to effectively do this, we plan to complete fu a functional exercise that seeks to ring fence ESCOM's various parts. This will enable us to clearly see who is caring, whom and who is being carried. This, we believe, is, criti is a critical enabler in defining and directing cost compression and efficiency measures effectively within the business. On the primary energy, we will expand significant efforts to grow the volume of our cost plus uh, coal mines in addition to optimizing the price for short-term and medium-term coal that we procure through, through other channels. <coughs> on people, we will work on a number of initiatives together with all relevant stakeholders to seek out efficiency and productivity gains in the organization. On the debt side, we will partner with government to reduce ESCOM's debt load and consequently our debt servicing ability. The exact nature of these solutions uh, are currently being explored. As you would appreciate, it involves a lot of other people other than ourselves. As I try to make this point that ESCOM's problem cannot be solved by ESCOM alone. There's a role that uh, uh, public policy has to play. There's a role that the shareholder has to play. There's a role that uh, the public, our customers, the suppliers, and indeed our employees have to play in finding the solution. 